How's it going, everybody? My name's Snapper Sam, and you probably haven't seen my videos before, but I just wanted to make this video because we've got like thousands of new players in Gorilla Attack. So I'm just gonna be teaching everybody a couple tricks and basics for the game. Okay, so let's get into the video. Okay, so first up we have moving. Now, what most players think you have to move in in Gorilla Attack is just slamming your hand as hard as you can into the ground to move. But see, I'm mainly going vertical. The only reason I'm moving forward is because I'm on I've got Rock Monkey. But as you can see, that doesn't really do much. What you want to do is kind of like scrape your hand against the ground. So like drag your hand like this. Okay. Let's move on to the next thing. Okay, the next thing is wall jumping. To do a wall jump, what you need to do is bounce up and then just let your arm sit on the thing. And try not like move your arm forward or something because then you'll just go flying off. I'll just try and keep your arm directly moving like that. Like that, so like this. And then you can get up. Okay, next thing. Okay, the next thing you can learn is pinch climbing. And it kind of looks hard, but it's really simple. Um, so basically, all you want to do is get your arms, both your arms connected onto the thing like this. And then just pull up. And it's really simple. Just don't use Rock Monkey, because it's really annoying. Okay, let's move on to the next thing. Okay, next thing are some jukes. Uh, jukes are basically what you use to break the monkey's ankles. It's really simple. Well, there are some confusing ones as well. But the basic process of it is just doing an unexpected movement like that. So you're getting chased, right? Boom, bam. They lost track of you and you can escape. But you can also do stuff like this thing which is called i think i don't know what it's actually called i call it the spin juke where you run at the pole grab it and then just spin in real life and like go a completely different direction like this it will completely confuse the monkey or you're getting chased by and the other juke is um called the slide juke i think where you just get your put your arm through it like this Pull your arm through, get to the edge, and then just do a circle like this. Okay, let's move on to the next thing. Okay, the next thing is something that seems hard, but will really help you if you practice it. It's called funny running. Now, all you pros probably know what funny running is. Before you new players, funny running is basically, well, there's a few ways to do it. You can do it like this, where basically you have both your arms at your sides and you just like, it's like you're moving them back and forth really fast. Another way to do it is just the same thing, but in front of you. And the third way to do it, which is what I do and I prefer, is getting one finger like that and going like that, really fast like this, and moving the other hand in a circle like that, like this. All together does this. Funny running will make you much faster and make it much harder for the monkeys to catch you. Anyways, let's move on to the next thing. Next thing we have is branching. Branching's pretty simple, but it's but it's amazing. Well, it's pretty hard, but really good once you learn how, like get good at it. It's basically jumping from branch to branch, uh, randomly, because there's like hundred about a, maybe 150 branches in Grill Attack. So if you just jump to one randomly, it will definitely confuse the people who are chasing you. Anyways, let's move on to the next thing. Next thing we've got on the list is actually climbing up to um up to treehouse. Now, I know what you're gonna say, this is stupid, but what you wanna start with is like going up like this. Because it can actually help with your eye coordination for branching and it makes you better at branching because like you know where they are but eventually once you um get better at that you won't even need the uh, steps you can just go 
straight in. Okay, anyways, next thing. Okay, so right now we're getting into the pretty tricky stuff that will take you a while to learn, but if you practice, can really help. Now, this is wall climbing. So basically, what you want to do is put your hands in a triangle shape like this. Look slightly up, bounce and just in a corner and just jump from one side to the other without like falling off. And once you do that, you can easily escape someone chasing you. Um, but it will take a while. It took me about two months to learn because I just went from when I just started to then uh, when I learned it. But anyways, let's move on to the next thing. Okay, next up we have wall, wall running, which consists of actually getting up onto a wall. So to learn wall running, you're going to want to have to have learnt wall climbing so you can actually get up to places. But then once you've learnt wall climbing, all you really want to do is just have your arm like that. Just kind of do that, like with your hand. A good place to actually practice doing this is on the wall right over here. So you can just go up to the wall and just practice going up multiple times. Which is actually helpful when you're getting chased anyways, because you can just, instead of just going one by one like that, you can go like two by two or three by three if you're good like this see how much faster and then this is triple see like look how fast that is compared to what one by one is anyways the these these things will take a while wall climbing and wall um running will take a while to learn just because they're very advanced things and next, let's move on to the next one. And for the last final thing, we have something called elevator climbing. So basically, this is the really hard. It took me a while to learn. But anyways, just because I can, I'll teach you guys it. So basically, what you want to do is get your arm caught in something. And then you just want to do circles with your arms and wrists and just go straight up. Now, you can get caught sometimes if you have shorter arms like I do. As you can see, I got stuck there. But after a, pra a lot of practice, you'll be able to do it consistently. The only thing that's annoying about it is the Christmas update, adding the stupid Christmas lights. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I will make a more advanced tutorial later on. I just wanted to make this real quick because we have, we went from having about 10,000 players daily to over 50,000, which is crazy. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. See ya. Bye.